In this lesson, I'm going to continue working with the layout of our application that we will use to interact with a database. I've already moved over a few of the items, and now I need a list view. I will go over to the composite category in the palette and look for the list view. I can see the list view here. I'll go ahead and drag that over and drop that on my application. And I'm going to go ahead and put this below the button clear tasks and just go ahead and let it go. The items that are populated here will be the text of the list view. And I'll just go ahead and drag this over to the left. Let's go ahead and make it a line parent left, and I'll make it a line parent right. Now let's go ahead and change some of the properties of the list view. I'm going to right click on it and choose to edit the ID. And I've got list view. Let's go ahead and make that say list view tasks. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to create a brand new custom layout to use with this list view. So let's go over here to the left hand side and I need to expand the resources folder and I can find the layout folder in here. And if I expand that, you'll see that we have the activity main in here. We're going to need to add another file. So let's go ahead and right click on the layout and choose new, other, and I'm going to choose the Android XML layout file and hit next. It's asking me for the file name. And I'm going to go ahead and name it item underscore layout dot XML. And I'll go ahead and hit finish. And as you'll see, the file is already loaded up here, item layout dot XML. And so now let's go ahead and drag over some text views. I've got this text view here. I'm going to go ahead and place and then drag over one more. And you can tell that by the way the placement is, I must have a linear vertical layout. If I click over on the code, I'll see linear layout, orientation is vertical. Let's go ahead and just change that to horizontal. And I'll go ahead and switch back over. And you can see now that my text views are aligned in a row rather than in a column. I'll go ahead and change the ID attribute of the first one to say text view item number and go ahead and hit OK and for the second one I'm going to go ahead and change the ID of this one to say text view item task and hit OK and you can see how both of these text views are right on top of each other I'm going to go ahead and add some padding to the first text view so I'm just going to go ahead and switch back over to the code and I'll look at my two different text views that I have. I can add another attribute in here. Android colon. Let's go ahead and use padding. And I'll put some padding to the right of this one. And I'll go ahead and use 20 density pixels. And switch back over to the graphical layout. And that makes it spaced out a little bit further. So this text view is going to be used for the item number. And this one is going to be for the actual task we will be entering into the database. OK, I'll go ahead and save my work. And we're going to begin in the next lesson videos to start understanding how our application interacts with the database.